Imagine you have a dugout terrain, a uh, terrain of opportunities, risks, and you somehow need to find um, the areas of interest to you where you're going to plant your foot, you're going to plan the investment. Um, it's coming. Uh, and so, this is uh, a new way of interacting with data, not through the keyboard and the mouse, but we use other forms of user interfaces. We use gesture tracking, motion tracking, touch, and voice, and uh, mobile phones, gyroscopes. Okay, so imagine that you could use an alternative way of experiencing data. This is the data of business opportunities. Um, this is still early days of what we can do, but you'll see what we can do, you could actually navigate the data, you could hover on the plane which intersect the mountains of risks, you could look at the markers which identify the spots where there may be there is the, the best opportunity for investment, um, you could step down into the valley to explore it further, you can imagine the businessman in the office doing all the gymnastics. <laughs> it's, it's very good for your health as well. <laughs> and uh, you can, of course, look at the data from above. And you can see the trace of where you traveled. You can see the dangerous, the high risk areas. You want to avoid it. You want to look for low risk the havens for investment where you're going to plan your markets. Let's plan the market somewhere here. This has the power to know. Um, so, um, this is a, a new way of interacting with data. This is the, the new way we want to investigate for the future generation of decision makers. Now, we're showing you the blue sky type of research. We also do ordinary type of visual analytics. Um, and we do things in the middle, and uh, we have a whole team of people around here excited to get their hands into visual analytics tools, explore, explore not only the tools, but data, businesses, make decisions, and getting connected with industry, and that's our aim. So what we're going to do next is to, first of all, uh, I would like to thank those two guys who worked so hard to create this demonstration.